I don't want to be funny anymore. Ooh. The jams, dude. Hi, I'm Toby, the founder of Tubnet, which is a Minecraft server that I've been working on for the last four years. It releases in less than an hour from now. So I thought we'd take this time to talk to you a little bit about what It would have been do. crazy if he wore a tie. It would have been nuts if he wore a tie. <laughs> it would have been so weird. Using speaking trips to wish Wolfie a happy birthday. Tubnet is set in an exciting metropolis called New Block City, which is full of famous artists, builders, and scientists. This city is where players come to channel their creative energy and bring their dreams to life. Yeah. You can take a selfie. What we are going to be doing for the and first section of this keynote is going over absolutely everything we have built. We're getting right into the nitty and gritty to show you guys everything. All right. The first place we are going to start exploring is one of my personal Hi, favorites, Minecraft which is the lobby man. of the server itself. When you join Tubnet for the first time, you'll be greeted by the new block plaza, which has many points of interest that we wanted to elaborate more on. Just run around, run around, have fun in new block plaza. Oh, that pie is that pizza that pie pizza <laughs> the two main we just watched someone get run over the light strike detective and the crystal rush scientists are going to transport you to the sub lobbies for those games they will also display <laughs> crucial information like how many players are playing each game also the version of the game and whether it has any cool new updates now, taking your focus away from the main two NPCs, we're going to be talking about the postman and some of the others on the side. Postman. The Tubnet Postman is part of our daily rewards incentive, where every day a player can log on, can watch a video in order to gain network XP and also free cosmetics. And it has the benefit of supporting the server for completely free. Moving Loot. on to the left of the postman, you have our snack attack game, which is one of our many smaller social games that are scattered throughout the lobby, which I'll touch more on in a bit. But I recommend checking it out because it's addictive. Now, moving on to the right of the main NPCs in the lobby, you'll be greeted by the taxi man, which will be able to provide warps to all of our non-crucial areas. For those of you that want to see sightseeing around the lobby. Cool. Let's now move on from NPCs and talk about some of the unique and distinguishable buildings that are positioned around the plaza. I promise you'll find them helpful. The new block fashion building is fantastic. It's full of cosmetics in order to customize your characters to make absolutely every single player on Tubnet unique. It's also a great way to also support the server. It would be a missed opportunity to not flag. use this time now to plug our Tubnet store, store.tubnet.gg, where the player can buy ranks to stand out above the crowd and also cubits to actually interact stand out with above the plebs. <laughs> Right now, our store has just opened, so players are now able to pre-order all the things I just mentioned. So please, if you want to support us, flex on the plebs with a little rank. <laughs> it's pretty standard stuff. It's pretty standard stuff. I love the little animations. They're so cute. Look at this. Buildings like the fashion store. So cool. You'll also see that there's a garage. I'll see you next month for that gapple. Love your shirt today. Thanks, man. My hoodie. Sorry, Pog. I'm afraid we couldn't get this ready for launch, but it will be coming very soon. Maybe even sooner than you think. Now, let's move our attention over to the left side of the plaza where you'll see the It's pay to win? No. I said nothing about pay to win. Cosmetics. If you think winning... If you think winning in the video game is having a cooler shirt than somebody else on the server, okay. Checkers and many others. And I'm sure we'll add to this pool of games as time goes on. Damn it! I can't have the cool shirt! That means I lose! As of on launch, we won't have anything. I lose in every game! Further down the line, we'd love a way for players to be able to gift cosmetics to Bruh. their friends. Because, you know, who doesn't love receiving a gift? What makes Tubnet That's cool. You can gift people stuff. That all of our lobbies are built exactly on the same map. So if you want to take more of a scenic route, you can just walk to the lobby of the game you want. You don't need to teleport. It's all the same world. Cool. For those of you that do wonder and explore the lobby, we have built parkour courses all around the lobby with competitive time. I'm going to break all of these. Apply. As you walk around <laughs> New York City, you're going to be able to see many of our iconic landmarks, such as the News Tower, where the citizens of New Block City receive all of their latest information, the headquarters of the famous SOM Corp, the research facility that puts the sake of mankind <laughs> I'm get out the first, map. and the historic New Block Museum that's full of ancient artifacts. Ooh, and 
that's cool. Don't forget also the priceless art they have. Recently, disaster and the dragon has skeleton. struck the city, with crime running amok and a mysterious, unnatural crisis happening in the heart of town. Fortunately, hopeful citizens are banding together with some outside help to keep the town in one piece for wait, the law? of the future. Let's talk about our first game of wait, this we have, we, Wait, Rush. we can be detectives? We can be detectives? <laughs> Crystal Rush's story starts with an unknown device that is being transported from some corp headquarters. The device mysteriously goes haywire, causing a global catastrophe. Now, the citizens I of love the Global this. Crisis Organization are working together to clean up these crystals that are appearing all around the world. As a game, the objective of Crystal Rush is very simple. Destroy your competition and remove their Nexus crystal that provides them with their ability to respawn. Thank you for the three and a half years, holy fuck, dude. The meaning of life, universe, and everything else. And no Discord ping BTW. <laughs> what to say i was live yeah it's broke something breaks every day if this god thank you for the three and a half years thank you oh cool so wait the crystals are bad players gather crystals to purchase items to help them defend their own nexus or attack an enemies you six will months with leather high dad's a kisses wooden sword from brazil and a wooden pickaxe that you'll be able to upgrade throughout the course of the game during the course of the game, you'll find yourself bumping into three different types of crystal shards. Weak shards, strong shards, and nexus shards. Ooh. Weak shards can be collected via your weak resource node, which is found in every single team's base. These weak shards will allow you to purchase blocks and lower tier upgrades to get you across to the middle. Surprise to no one, you can gather strong shards by mining strong nodes. Strong resource nodes are always positioned So crystal equal in-game money to buy rush. things, but like high pixel sky, a uh, bit, bit like bed walls. So instead of just picking up iron and diamond, you'd mine these. As well as custom items which can be used to either defend or attack. I highly recommend using them to upgrade your pickaxe, which allows you to gather more shards quicker. Mm. Another important thing to note is that on death, Farm. the player will lose all of the shards in their inventory. So if you manage to get your hands on some strong shards, make sure to stash them. Now moving on to our final shard, the Nexus shard. You're not going to believe this, but you get Nexus shards from mining the Nexus crystal. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, wow. the Nexus crystal is what allows every other team on the map to respawn. So these are ultra rare. Oh, Jesus Christ. Respawn? The most advanced high-tech items, such as winged totems that can shoot you miles in the air to diamond armor that can protect you to almost an invincible standard. What the, the fuck? The <laughs> you'll notice that the Nexus crystals that allow teams to respawn have health bars, which means if you're attacked, you have another shot of staying in the game. But when it does hit zero, you're unable to respawn anymore. These shards that you have collected That's so funny. used to buy many custom items. Busted shards as, just get, like you said, invincible. <laughs> Basically invincible. Slowly progress through the tiers. Stone, oh. iron, diamond, so on and so on. Your pickaxe upgrades that will progress with levels of fortune so you can gather resources quicker. And then onto the custom items. In Crystal Rush, we have a set of custom items that we are calling orbs. Orbs are able to do a plethora of abilities such as throw explosive projectiles, help you bridge across the map, launch you into the air, and also grapple you halfway across the map. Other cool custom items we have is our totem system. Happy At the moment day. in Crystal Rush, there are four halfway main across totems, the map. such as the defense totem, the healing totem, the winged totem, and the cloud totem. The cloud totem is used to save you from a big fall. The healing totem, pretty self-explanatory. The defense totem, also pretty self-explanatory. So it gives your team an you extra level day of resistance. Up. And the wing totem, my personal Thanks, favorite, man. launches your whole team into the air with an elytra and allows them to traverse the map easily. It's important to keep in mind that these totems are fragile and enemies can destroy them with pickaxes as well as projectiles. So it's important to keep them in a safe place. Now onto some other Big fan of the Elytra one. For Crystal Rush. Big fan of the wind totem, dude. <laughs> That's cool. One, we have some consumable items like golden apples that will be lost on death. So only buy them if you plan on staying alive. Two, we have some degradable items like armor and swords that will regress to the previous tier upon death. Heck and yeah. three, we also months. have some permanent items that Maybe the 15 months what, like pickaxes, because gathering resources is definitely the most important part uh -uh. of the game. All these things are really important to have in the back of your mind when you're buying upgrades from our shops in Crystal Rush. Now, onto our final Tubble feature long. of Crystal Rush, sudden death. If a game is not the T word. Too long and <laughs> teams are finding themselves in a stalemate position, the game timer will tick down 
down until it reaches critical mass, where oh. sudden death will begin. Sudden death forces everybody into the middle of the map using a world border and also removes oh. all of their nexus crystals, so no respawning, and it is a bloodbath fight to the death for first place. If you Fun. want to post some feedback about the games or have a suggestion, please make sure to go to our forums, forums.tobnet.gg, because that is where we are most actively responding to community messages. That's all I'm me verified on Tubble. To Rush. We're really <laughs> Seven months to see double. what wacky strategies you guys come up with. Let's move on to Tubnet's second game for launch, Light Strike. <sighs> Join Tubble now. Look at how verified I am on Tubble. The story starts with the new block detectives finding unauthorized EMP devices being planted throughout the city. Missed 12 okay. months, but has to use the prime here. The cool animation that we saw like a little while ago. <laughs> Light Strike is a 4v4 team search and destroy. This is the one that Toby really fucking loves. I can't remember. And use those credits to better themselves in the rounds to come. There are two teams, the placers and the breakers. The placers job is to place the EMP device, also known as the star. And surprise to no one, the breakers job is to break it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, um, it's basically like, what's, what's the word? Shit. In CSGO. Fuck. What's it called? 19 <clears throat> this looks the awesome. PH1 Search and destroy. Eliminating the places, and the same goes for the other way around. <laughs> Standard <Light> CSGO. <laughs> yeah, like CSGO. Action I mentioned earlier happens multiple times in one Yeah, it's like C4. You have to like defuse it. For one team to reach four rounds one. You'll be able to see how many Or Valorant, I guess, as well, yeah. Valorant was like basically copying CSGO. Maybe it's only two months, thank you. And the game can end in either a loss, a draw, or a win. The final phase is the swap See, phase. in Minecraft. Of the game, the two teams swap and battle it out from the opposite sides of the map. Speaking of maps, let's talk about the first off. maps that were also, into the Light less than map 20 minutes for dads and mums are you too. Let's go. Yeah, yeah dude. Doing well, dad, so. 20 minutes until the you choose drops. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Side also contains a taking this fucking tie off so bows have a <laughs> massive advantage on this map because of the long range shots that are able to be hit the a side on port side is very close annoying me for narrow, 15 months for wow combat. also you and missed my 12 months open, a while back but it's fine combat. i'll be 20 the months in no time but keep doing what you love doing block zero. man ship month oh thank you man thank you um we'll double check we'll double check the the gapple I just climbed a mountain that's 1,000 steps, but the fills a grind doesn't stop. You on a mountain right now? Zero is a laboratory that's built into the side of a mountain and has all kinds of experimental technology inside of it, such as boost pads and huh? other pads that players will be running into during the game. And there's a lot of secret passageways to traverse the map in stealth. Dude, we just that witnessed a glitch the in the matrix. <laughs> It's just a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> the timing, dude. What the fuck? 13 months already. Can't believe it. Hope everyone is doing well. <laughs> Can't wait to play with everyone on Tubnet. This is so weird. Who's <laughs> here? I come. We've worked to make communications with the team easy and efficient. Even if you're not playing with your friends. Santa's coming to town. Actually, a five minute. What we're calling the radio. It's not December yet. The radio is a device that is in the player's hotbar at all times, which allows this vibe into the music. Parts of the map. Depending whether they right click, left click, shift right click, or shift. Thank you for the two years, thank you. Holy shit. The messages to the team. The amount two years, I guess. Got to get well. that you two. Thank you, man. Thank you. Communication. Let's talk about our heads up. Fifteen display. minutes. It's hard to achieve. Like we have two main bits Was of the message worth it? The first being the scoreboard on the right that contains. I've completely lost track of what's happening Phil in Blast the video. Game your objective, and the second being the boss. Actually, yeah. Actually, eight months. Thank you. Which can display to you how many. Uh, milky rays off the three months. Also, the round numbers as a second option. Next up, we're going to talk about the items that you're able to buy during the shop round I mentioned earlier. For our offensive items, we've broken them down into three main categories. Swords, bows, and crossbows. For swords, we have two custom swords called the Pufferfish Sword and the Slime Sword. The Slime Sword the what? deals extra knockback. Whoa. And the Pufferfish Sword deals poison damage to the enemies. 
some of our more generic items in the sword category is an iron axe and a sharpness one iron sword for the more generic gamers we understand that's you. me stay yo, generic yo. generic kings <laughs> some of our generic <laughs> items are a standard iron axe and a sharpness one iron sword stay the generic generic kings <laughs> in the crossbows category we have two very simple we have a it, re it really spoke to me there also, in regard to bows and crossbows, in the shop there's options to buy different types of arrows such as healing arrows, spectral arrows, and just to stock up on normal arrows as well. Cool. In the shop you'll also find a plethora of potions available for you to purchase that are actually instant activate when you use them, so you don't need to sit around drinking them, as well as golden apples to heal you during a fight. For the Breakers team, there cool. is also an extra available pickaxe to purchase which allows you to remove the spike faster. Don't be a loser, buy a diffuser. That's about all we have to share. I mean, right yeah, that's that's CSGO in a nutshell. What able to experience within the next hour when Tubnet releases. Don't be a loser, buy a diffuser. What we have just spoke about is available for you guys to play when Tubnet releases within the next hour. We're super excited to share all of this Yippee. with you. And now we're going to move on to some special announcements in our next segment. <laughs> we have to make Hello, it smaller. To oh! the second segment of today's keynote. In this segment, we're going to be talking about all of our future content and up and coming plans and everything you guys have to look forward to. Ooh. <clears throat> Part two. 11 minutes till the YouTube drops. I'm very proud to announce that we are starting to officially run Tubnet Tuesdays. That's yes! right. Tubnet Tuesdays is starting this December where we will be hosting weekly tournaments. You guessed it on a Tuesday. The first one will be kicking off on the 6th of December. So yes. be there. Fucking be there. <laughs> <laughs> now that's all very exciting, uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about why we came to this It's decision. real. So looking back over the last couple of years, tournaments like Minecraft Monday, MC Saturday, and Minecraft Championships have all been around. We took what we thought were the best parts of all these different series of events, mixed them together in order to create what we hope is an unforgettable series of tournaments. Cool. While trying to aim for the level of polish and quality of events like MCC. Because this is our first time doing something on this scale, this regularly, we wanted to start by doing three events on the lead up to the holidays. Mm. But don't worry, they're not going to go anywhere and we'll return next year. We just want to start off slow and get our bearings. We have so many ideas at the minute and so many <laughs> concepts, which we'll be sharing very soon in trailers and teaser videos so excited dude very excited find the button returns fuck that feel free to subscribe fuck to that. us on our youtube channel where we post regular developer i i, I will personally now let's move on complain to, to toby of find the button returns themselves. fuck that i have actual nightmares <laughs> the Craftmasters Theatre is our playground to put all of our projects on to get community uh, feedback and see how they work in a larger scale environment on our server. Hey, for the 20 months, thank you. Thanks for being here, Phil. Man, I love Craftmasters design, can I just say? It's so cool. PH1L pops a PH1L love. Show down of I the 41 the months, thank you into tubnet so this is exactly the perfect place for us to do that we have taken tons of feedback from all the creators you've seen streaming the showdown event and we have applied that feedback and now it's going to be in tubnet for you to play we also want to announce Ten to minutes. conclude our three tubnet Thank tuesday you for events six we'll months. be running another Nine show minutes. Release rather day. a snowdown if you will for you guys to enjoy before the holidays for having a good day hello and welcome to the third segment of the keynote <laughs> this is that jump scare that you guys will that was on purpose for playing tubnet <laughs> we wanted to give back to the community because on purpose honestly, we owe you guys so much for Let's allowing go. us to do what we do so we've come up with a massive list of prizes and different kind of rewards that <laughs> we're going to be giving months. to the most i'm so glad i've that. been here for this long less than three less than three <laughs> This first thing on our list is by far the thing I find the most exciting. <laughs> what we have done is we have made exclusive cosmetics that will only be I want that as like an alert. We select group of people that managed to do this. For the first 100 <laughs> people that join the server, we have made an exclusive OMG, first 15 months and tubnet is dropping. Oh, you yeah. will have. We have also 
also made an exclusive 1,000 user hat, which is available <laughs> to the first 1,000 players of Tubnet ever. We I also have it. another exclusive hat for our first 5,000 users to join Tubnet as well. I know that sounds less exclusive. It was on purpose. These will never be available again. Oh. Next, I want to talk about. I want to be Craftmaster. XP rewards. I want to be Craftmaster and have an elytra and just fly around above everyone. <laughs> Every single player Four on months, Tubnet let's go. Like Batman. Like, if you see me, you're just like, oh, What's that? Was a bird? Is a plant? Nah, it's just Phil. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> we're going to be having on our launch weekend is a double XP weekend, which means absolutely every single bit of XP you would earn on Tubnet <laughs> will be worth twice as much. That would be so funny. <laughs> Also, every day for your first one of the day, you'll I would just never be at the bottom of the where everyone is. I'll just be flying around. For those of you that don't know, Tubnet has a premium currency called Qubits, which would normally cost mm -hmm. you real life money to obtain, but we are giving you the opportunity to win loads for free. Ten months and I can't free Qubits. I've done it for so long, thanks for everything, Dad Celeste. Every than three. single leaderboard in Tubnet, free Qubits. For the top 10 players on every leaderboard on top, Free money. we're giving away 500 qubits each. This competition will be closed at Monday, 12 p.m. PST. Also, for you absolute rock stars that managed to reach number one on our leaderboards, we want to give away custom Tubnet PCs. But to be eligible to win these, make sure you sign up for our forums at forums.tubnet.gg. In addition, for I'd the have top more 10 months under my belt, but I've been dying in my junior year of high Monday school, Phil. Anyways, Tuesday, we are I am making the parents purchase both you two. Star rank for free. Rank for free. For the Love you and mums are less than three. Now we're going to be moving on to segment four for a very special months. announcement. I promise it's five exciting. minutes until the YouTube comes out. Five minutes. I swear oh, to God, if it sells out within like a minute, I'm gonna lose it. Of today's they <laughs> it's say, be ridiculous. Save the best to last, and yeah. I think we've done that. This is something I'm very excited to announce, and I hope you find it as cool as I do. Okay, so we hit us with it. Let's go. Ten months. Hope you have a great day and stream. That's right. Tubnet Esports is here. We are planning on doing a series of competitive tournaments with prize pools. Oh. We plan on doing invitational ones Fuck. and open ones, which anyone can partake in. The winners of the open tournaments will then be invited to play in our Tubnet Invitationals, which will be live broadcasted on this channel. Oh. Right <laughs> Wait, not just, not just content creator tournaments. Anyone can jump in. That's going to be fucking sick. Chat, it's time to get cracked. It's time to get cracked at the video I'm game. The of the world. By the Phil's starting soon screen <laughs> turn. The Tubnet competitive series. We've just about Hats. run out of time for today. Hats. Because Tubnet is about to launch. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. And thank you guys so much for watching. Influence is out of power. Yes, our store, just store check how many listenings is wandering no Check mat. it out. All of the proceeds help us do amazing things. So without Maybe the 17 ado, months, thank you. Let's get into the launch countdown. Oh shit, that was sick.